Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is a new edition of Smash or Pass. If you're not familiar, this is a game in which people gave me names of celebrities or characters, and I simply say whether I would smash or if I would just go ahead and pass on some extracurricular activities with them. Yeah. And I asked people on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to give me some fun celebrities, give me some fun characters to respond to. Y'all definitely did not disappoint. But again, this is all just in fun, so don't take any of this too personal. If one of your favorite characters or one of your celebrity crushes happen to show up and gets passed on, it's all good here. We all like different things, right? Right. So let's go ahead and jump in. So my friend Risa submitted by far the most selections. So I'm going to be sprinkling her suggestions in throughout the video. And we're gonna go ahead and start off with some of her picks from Twitter. Pedro Pascal as Agent Whiskey from the Kingsman sequel. Uh, this is a smash. Come on. Jake Gyllenhaal as Bubble Boy. Uh, I don't even know if Bubble Boy is of age. I don't even remember. <laughs> But that air, the bubble, all of it. I'm sorry, Jake, I love you, but this is a pass. Ben Affleck with this, meaning that back tattoo. Um, I'll leave that to Ana de Armas to take care of. Pass. Taika Waititi? Uh, that's a smash for me. I think he's quite the fine zaddy there. And he's funny, so yeah, smash. Richard Madden. Oh, uh, smash. <laughs> Smash. This Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, smash. Theo <laughs> Mortensen as Aragorn. Also an easy smash. Sean Bean. Ooh. Pass. Mbaku. Uh, smash. Plus he said he was a vegetarian and all that. Yes. Bring it on. Eric Killmonger. But he keeps the mask on. Gotta be filling up on those little like those little permanent goosebumps he's got going on. <laughs> but I mean still. Uh smash. I'm not gonna play. Okay, now we're gonna jump on over to Instagram. Starting off with my friend Jaden. We have Emma Watson. Um, she's beautiful. So smash. Sean Mendez. Uh that's a pretty definite smash. <laughs> I know he's a little bit on the inside for me. Getting a little bit old. Adele. Oof, I'm not loving this new Adele look she's rocking. Um, honestly, I preferred her before all the weight loss, personally, but you know, whatever makes her happy. Uh, she's a little, uh, she's fun, but she's, ah, uh, no. I'm sorry, Adele. I appreciate your talent, but it's a pass. Amelia Clark. Uh, smash. <laughs> Zero thought needs to be put into smash for Amelia Clark. Peter Dinklage? Ah, uh, Smash! I think he's a really handsome man. Yeah, he's getting a little bit old for me, though, but still on the smashable side of things. Timothy Chalamet. Ah, uh, Smash. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and then Mrs. Plank. Uh, oops, I mean Taylor Swift. No, that's a, a pass. Sorry, no. My friend Jackie said Ben Solo or Kylo Ren. <sighs> it's gonna be a pass for me. I know some of y'all just love Adam Driver. <sighs> Adam Driver doesn't really do it for me. Sorry, there's some sort of disconnect there. I don't really find him that attractive. And then when you put the Kylo Ren Ben Solo character on top of that, eh, emo can be my thing, but it's a bit much, so. Pass. Then Media Microwave uh, thought it was cute to troll me on my Instagram yet again. What, what's, what's the deal, Media Microwave? Why do you troll so hard when I post things on Insta, huh? Why you always gotta be trying to shade folks, huh? That ain't cute. It ain't cute. So, so they started off with one they know already. Tom Holland is a smash, 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 smash. All the day, all the time, smash. And he dealt a sexual predator one-two punch with Bill Cosby and Kevin Spacey. Bish, you know the answer. 
That is a hard pass. I will pass them right off to the legal system and throw them into the jail cells they belong in. And then he also said Adam Sandler, which clearly was a troll as well. Obviously not as egregious as those other two, but is also clearly a pass for me. Then we're going to hop on over to Facebook with Alex Madden, who says, Ray Popa, oop, I mean, Ray Skywalker. You wrong. You know you wrong for that one. Ah, uh, Ray is a smash. Obviously, Daisy Ridley is attractive, and I like the character, so it's a smash. Then we have my friend from Cube Reviews who says Lupita Nyong'o. Uh, that's a smash. I mean, come on. Queen, goddess, pretty much perfect. What's not to smash about it? We have Kenneth from Kenneth's Movie Corner it says Daisy Ridley, which is an extension off of Ray, if you will, but even on her own right, she's a smash. Karen Edgerton is a smash. You hear how good dot? Ugh. <laughs> smash. <laughs> my heart, my heart just fluttered a little bit even saying her name. It's, it's a smash. The Rock. Um, if it were WWE The Rock, it would be a definite, definite smash. But even now, uh, it's gone down a little bit. That like roided up muscle look is not really my jam, but uh, it's still The Rock. He's still charismatic. I'll give him a smash, but just barely, just barely. And then he says, Zendaya, uh, smash. I mean, look at her, queen. Then we have Vernon Valdez, who says, Aubrey Plaza. Uh, she's a, she's a smash. She's pretty, she's quirky, she's funny, smash. Rebel Wilson, I'm gonna go smash as well. I think she's like the opposite of Mrs. Board herself, Taylor Swift. And Rebel would be like really crazy and really fun and maybe could show me around the ropes. I'm not too sure. But I also think Rebel Wilson is pretty, so she's a smash. Amy Schumer, uh, pass. Uh, is, no, doesn't do it for me in any sense of the word. Steve Carell eh, is also a pass. Eh, it's not, not for me, not my style, not my jam. And then we have Melissa McCarthy. Oh, she's also a smash. I think she's beautiful, and I find her to be funny most of the time. So, yeah, let's do it. Probably fall off the bed uh, because she seems to fall a lot, but... We'll give it a go. We have Joshua Drake from Future Filmmaker. He said, Elizabeth Olsen. Ah, oh, she's a smash. She's pretty. She's definitely prettier than her sisters, I would say. Uh, maybe not an enthusiastic smash, but she's a smash. Olivia Wilde. A uh, smash. <laughs> Olivia Wilde is freaking gorgeous and just oozes sex appeal. Catherine Langford. Hmm. I would say smash. She is pretty, certainly. She just plays such dowdy characters, and I don't really know her for anything else, but uh, it's an unenthusiastic smash again. <laughs> Josephine Langford? Oh, I only really know her from that one terrible movie she was in after, and she's also pretty, but I am not sure how old she is, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that one. And then we have Felicity Jones. Oh, she's a, she's a smash for sure. I think she's beautiful. We had Patrick Rowland, who says, John Oliver. Uh, <laughs> it's a pass for me, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't watch the John Oliver show. I'm sure he's funny, but the look, the the whole atmosphere, not really, not really speaking to me. Then we have my friend Jaden making another appearance, starting off with Tom Holland, who again, oh, I'm going to keep him separate multiple times throughout this video so I could just smash, smash, and smash again. And said it, Sharon. Why? 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 Now we're going to hoop it on back over to Twitter. We're going to kick things off with Ashley from the movie Oracle. I made a couple of folks I was not sure of, some characters I wasn't really familiar with. But we started off with Isabel Lightwood, who was stunning, so smash. And then we had Magnus Bane, who was also fine, so smash. Honestly, part of me is wondering why I'm not really watching this show, Shadowhunters, because 
the whole cast is fine and they have like this really cool gay love story so i don't know why i don't watch it but you know tv and me we don't see eye to eye so uh, but they're both smashing then she had to cool everything off didn't you ashley you just had to like freeze the tension huh start the blue balls circulating with mr freeze circa batman and robin uh, I appreciate his commitment and like his loving type of nature, but that's a pass. What in the world, girl? No, pass. Poison Ivy, circa Batman and Robin, however, is a very different story and a definite, definite smash. And then she gave me Chris O'Donnell from the 90s, which, hello, is a definite smash. Put him in that Robin suit, take him on out that Robin suit, really do whatever you wanted with Chris O'Donnell in the 90s, and it's a smash. And then we have Chris O'Donnell currently, right now. I mean, he's not an idiot. Maybe if I had gotten with him when he was in the 90s and we had grown together, and we both were at that stage, it would be a smash still. But I'm a pass. Then I made the mistake. The grave mistake of asking for input from Daniel Berrios, Jared Buckendall, and, and Trivia Chic. Y'all, they a mess. But I guess, let's get into it. Starting with Daniel, he says Thanos on the farm. Thanos at all at any time, including on that farm with his burnt up O arm and ashy O face is a pass. And then he had the audacity, the nerve, to put Paddington Bear into this debauchery. Daniel, leave Paddington out of this. It's a pass. Child, are you gonna be a father, Daniel? Well, you better get on out of here. Get out of here with that. And he says, a Christian from Midsummer wearing the bear suit. What, what is this bear fetish, Daniel? What is the bear fetish? I don't know how it would work. I mean, I guess we'd have to cut holes in the bear suit. Um, Christian is a smash, but in the bear suit is gonna be a pass. Then he said, Santa Claus, another children's icon. Daniel, mm -mm. the pass. Let the children be wholesome, Daniel. Then he says, Britney Spears, but dressed as old Deuteronomy from Cats. Daniel, I didn't know you were a furry. I had no idea that this was in your heart and in your soul, just waiting for a chance to be released. You know, I'm trying not to judge, but I'm judging. As for the question, Britney is clearly a smash. Dressed as old Deuteronomy with those unfinished little non cgi hands. Just putting Britney's face over good old Dame Judy Dench. It's a no. Aren't they like this big? They're like cat size. I mean, I guess if she's just dressed as it. <sighs> no, it's a pass. I can't. I can't. I can't get involved with that. Then we had Jared Buckendall who says Gilbert Gottfried as Iago. Gilbert Gottfried himself is a very solid pass. And then you make him a bird? What kind of animalistic bestiality mess are y'all trying to get me into? No! We don't do that to parrots, Jared. Sama Hayek in from Dusk Till Dawn, but the vampire version. So, like this bald, scaly mess. Because we all know, I mean, Selma Hayek and Dusk Till Dawn is a universal smash. I don't care what your sexuality is. Let's be clear. It don't matter what you into. You into that. But that weird vampire form is a, is a pass. I don't know. I can't. I'll probably be full of, like, dead skin on me and stuff. No. He says, any blue Twilight from Star Wars. That's a smash. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't want to be Jabba the Hutt up in her, but yeah, they would be a smash. <laughs> and we got Miss Nikki from Trivial Theater. He says Janet Jackson at her infamous Super Bowl performance. Uh, smash. I mean, a pasty ain't gonna scare me off. Come on now. 
Andy Samberg in full dick in the box mode. Mm. Pats? I mean, how am I gonna get to it? It's in a box! <laughs> Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool, but with a baby hand. Uh, this is a pass. I mean, Deadpool's fine enough, but oh, I'm sorry to burn victims out there. His burden all over his body is a little bit gnarly, and that baby hand, I could not. It wouldn't happen. No. Vince Vaughn as Zoolander's brother. Uh, smash? Captain of the ship from Wally. -E. Uh, that's a pass. <laughs> no thanks. Fergie in Poseidon. Now, I can't really remember what her character was like, but she looked like this, so it's a smash. And then Hand from Adam's family. Uh, uh, I mean, it's just a hand, so probably very skilled. <laughs> this is a weird one that I'm going to say smash to. <laughs> Those fingers know what they're doing, so. Then back to Miss Risa, she says, Taryn Edgerton, she did provide this photo for me. So I guess she wants this Taryn Edgerton, but it's still a high smash. Them thighs, child, them thighs. Channing Tatum, oh, I think he's lost it a little bit recently, but generally I'm gonna say smash. He's a really good dancer, so. Yeah. Jude Law as Yon Rogue from Captain Marvel. Mm, I guess Smash? Mm, he still looks like Jude Law, so. She said this, Chris Evans. Um, so this is when he was promoting a film that she brought up again. It's a Smash. I mean, I can deal with the, the little barn stash and the ridiculous hair. I mean, Smash? <laughs> She then said Johnny Wilcox. Also, uh, a smash? Like, just barely. The weirdness barely stays under the threshold of what I can accept at unenthusiastic smash. Then, she said Jake Gyllenhaal as Johnny Wilcox and Chris Evans in Lobby Hero package deal. I mean, I guess if I smash them both separately, I'd have to accept I've never seen Lobby Hero, so I don't know what that character is all about, but I guess I'd have to accept based on what I've said before. Then my final entry from Facebook was from Jerome Latimer, and I think he interpreted and submitted like smash one and pass on one because he submitted pairs together. So I'm gonna try to play it that way. We'll see. <laughs> We had Elizabeth from the Bioshock Infinite game and Elena from the Uncharted series. Ugh, I don't know the characters, but from the looks, Elena gets the smash and Elizabeth gets the pass. We then had Brandy Rhodes and Penelope Ford. Both of these are wrestlers. Again, I have no idea what either of them are like, but Brandy Rhodes gets the smash, Penelope gets a pass. We had Chris Evans and Sebastian Stan. Oh, yes, please. But I would have to say Smash Evans and pass Sebastian. I'm sorry, Sebastian. There's still a smash in my arm. Then Jerome made me do some more research. <laughs> All these dang people I don't know, Jerome. We had Princess Daphne from Dragon's Lair and the Dark Queen from Battletoads. Uh, this was an easy one. I was having a hard time finding real pictures of the Dark Queen from Battletoads and it looked like she was a child a lot, so she gets a pass. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I just missed the real pictures. Princess Daphne, you get the smash. Then we have Katana and Jade from a game I played, Mortal Kombat. Katana smash. Jade, I'm sorry that you get the pass. We then had Princess Peach and Princess Zelda. Oh. I'm gonna have to smash Zelda and pass on Peach. It's just a little, a little much for me. And I had a mystery submission from one of my friends. So that was fun. We have Billy Eichner. Oh, talk about a true, like, middle of the road person for me. It's like an unenthusiastic smash, I guess. They're not like passable, I suppose, but not really my jam either. Eli Roth. Oh, he's not like ugly. Uh, no, I'm sorry, it's a pass. I can't. It's a pass. 
Anya Taylor Joy. Oh, she's beautiful. It's a smash. Henry Golding. Whoa. Smash. Smash. Yes, please. Nicole Kidman, a freaking literal goddess. Smash. Anytime she's been famous, pick any era, basically. It's a smash. Seth Rogen is a pass. It's just, no. The personality, Rosie picks, this is whole. All of it, the pass. Coda Johnson, a smash. <laughs> She's freaking gorgeous and a queen. Smash. Jack Black, that's a pass. And actually, I have a friend who loves Jack Black. Uh, no. Again, the comedy doesn't really do it for me, and that look. No, I don't know. Octavia Spencer, who I love, I would love to be besties, but it's gonna be a pass here. Great, just can't see you like that. Can't see it. I'm sorry, Octavia. Bill Hader, ooh, also a pass. I don't know, Bill Hader doesn't really do it for me either. Hanager, I know you love him, but it's a no for me, honey. It's a no for me. Naomi Harris, oh, it's a smash. I think Naomi Harris is fire. Fire. Billy Lord. Uh, got an awesome personality. But it's a pass. Oh, I think that might be controversial. I think people love Billy Lord, but it's not it's not there for me. Then we have John Mulaney. Mm, that's also a pass. It doesn't work. Why can't I get Mr. Music? That's who I want to smash. <laughs> Then we have Michelle Pfeiffer, smash, <laughs> smash, yes. Whether it's now, whether it's Catwoman, whether it's whenever, wherever, yes. And then finally we have Robbie Fairchild, who is also a smash. Talk about, again, like Zoddy status, looks great. Then we have Ms. Riza with her final selections, kicking us off with Vision. Ooh, how boring. What a boring time that would be, right? I mean, he just like manifests the proper equipment to do that. Very Ken doll-esque in his appearance. It's a pass. Bye. Then, I don't know if it's a shade or if this is really what she's into, but she literally said DJ Khaled to me, y'all. She said DJ Khaled with a straight face to me. That's a pass. A hard pass, actually. And then she gave me one of the trolls featured in Trolls World Tour. She said Ed Sheeran. Y'all should know. He's been in my past Master Pass videos too. Y'all just like to troll me. I think that's what it is because Ed Sheeran is a hard pass for me. I don't even like his music like that, y'all. I hardly like his music at all, if I'm being honest. And that look, he's lucky he's famous. I said what I said. So then said Daniel Craig. Uh, I mean, that's a smash. Did you see that GQ shoot he just did? Whew, child. Jake Gyllenhaal as Lou Bloom. Pass. No, thank you. That is, no. Creepy and gross. Not for me. This bald Taron Edgerton. No, no, he's still a smash. <laughs> Rub his head for good luck before we get started. Anna de Armas. Uh, smash. Hello. Smash. Qui-Gon Jinn. Um, that, this is Smash too. Uh, that's Liam Neeson, young Liam Neeson. Yes, with that long hair, yeah. Edward Norton as Bruce Banner. That's a Smash. I mean, I guess, could he even Smash? In the movie, he has to stop because it gets him too excited. So actually, no, that's a pass. Never mind. He might kill me. <laughs> like, literally, so no. Pass. John Boyega? Uh, smash. Matt Damon. Certainly young Matt Damon is an easy smash, but even current day Matt Damon is a smash. Flynn Rider? Whoa, yes, that's a smash. Come on now. Tom Hardy. Smash. Ewan McGregor as Mark Renton from Train Spotting, and that's a smash. The extracurriculars of that film give me hesitation, I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, it's still a smash. Then she said Rupert Grant. Girl. So I've only seen a couple of the Harry Potter films and haven't seen him in literally anything else, but that's a pass for me, dog. Nah. Diego Luna? Oh, smash. Please, smash. 
Gael Garcia Bernal. Ugh, smash. Please, smash. We get them back together with me. A little Spanish spice confection. Taryn Edgerton as Eddie the Eagle. He's sweet, but it's a pass. Sorry, Taryn. No, sorry, Eddie. The real one, too. It's a no. Mark Paul Gosler, uh, certainly when he was young, was a definite smash. But even now, he still looks good. He'd be getting out that booty quite a bit on his TV shows. It's a smash. It's Pratt, pre-Marvel bod. That is a pass, a definite pass. He's attractive enough with the Marvel bod beforehand. It's not. It's a little bit dumpy for me. Uh, just his whole atmosphere. But then the, his beliefs and all of that... Uh, turns me off of him quite a bit so no thanks and then she finished it off with david harbour <sighs> i don't know he's like right there in the middle too he's in that weird spot i'm gonna pass he's not really for me plus he was in hellboy and that mess took like years off of my life it was so bad so harbour get to step in so that's it those are the submissions you all gave to me for smash or pass if you're feeling up to it leave your thoughts in the comment section down below who would you smash or pass out of the folks these crazy people submitted to me again thank you all so 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 much for submitting being part of this video i hope you enjoyed it had a laugh with you and had a good time watching if you did hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on my latest videos. I love you all so much for your continued support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!